Prime Minister Narendra Modi becomes the first foreign leader to receive Bhutan's highest civilian award, the Order of the Drug Gyalpo, for his significant contributions to strengthening India-Bhutan relations. Bhutan's King Jigme Khesar Namgyal Wangchuk bestowed the honor during Modi's two-day state visit. Expressing gratitude, Modi dedicated the award to the people of India. This recognition follows other prestigious awards received by Modi, including the Legion of Merit from the US and the Order of St. Andrew from Russia. Today's next news is, India and Bhutan have committed to enhancing trade and investment cooperation particularly through the private sector, to foster greater economic connectivity. Prime Minister Narendra Modi's visit to Bhutan initiated discussions on bolstering ties, including the development of the Galefu Special Administrative Region, aiming to become a mindfulness city. The joint statement emphasizes a transformative partnership aligning with Bhutan's gross national happiness philosophy and India's inclusive development approach. Plans include enhancing physical, economic, and digital connectivity for seamless cross-border movement. Today's next news is, Prime Minister Narendra Modi highlighted the significance of water and its sustainable management. On World Water Day, stressing its vital role in life, he reaffirmed a commitment to safeguarding this invaluable resource and promoting sustainable water. Management Practices World Water Day, observed annually, aims to increase awareness about the importance of fresh water and the need for its sustainable utilization. Today's next news is, the Indian Space Research Organization announced the successful completion of the RLV Lex 2 landing experiment, marking a significant breakthrough in reusable launch vehicle technology, conducted at the aeronautical test range in Chitradurga, Karnataka. The experiment showcased the autonomous landing capability of a reusable launch vehicle under off nominal initial conditions, following the successful RLV Lex 01 mission last year. The winched vehicle, named Pushpak, demonstrated precise navigation and landing using advanced autonomous systems. Today's next news is M.K. Stalin, Tamil Nadu's chief minister appealed to the Indian government to secure the immediate release of 76 Indian fishermen detained by Sri Lanka in the past two weeks. He also emphasized the need for legal aid for those already detained. Expressing grave concern, Stalin highlighted the distress among affected families. He urged decisive action to ensure the safety and well-being of the detained fishermen. Addressing a letter to Sajay Shankar, India's external affairs minister, Today's next news is, the Central Board of Secondary Education has revoked the affiliation of 20 schools, including five in Delhi, for enrolling dummy students and ineligible candidates. Additionally, affiliation for three schools has been downgraded. Following surprise inspections nationwide, Central Board of Secondary Education Secretary Himanshu Gupta confirmed various malpractices, leading to the decision. Disaffiliated schools span across several states, while downgraded ones are in Delhi, Punjab, and Assam. Today's next news is, a Gautam Buddha Nagar court has granted bail to YouTuber Siddharth Yadav, also known as Elvish Yadav, in a case related to suspected drug use, arrested by Noida police in connection with an investigation into the alleged use of snake venoms. As recreational drugs at parties he hosted, Yadav secured bail after a court hearing. However, his release from Luxor jail in Greater Noida may be delayed due to procedural formalities. Today's next news is, the Enforcement Directorate alleges that Arvind Kejriwal, Chief Minister of Delhi, utilized his position to enable money laundering for the Aam Admi Party in an alleged liquor scam. Kejriwal is accused of orchestrating the Delhi excise scam with AAP members and government officials. The Enforcement Directorate sought and obtained 10-day custody for further investigation. Kejriwal was arrested under anti-money laundering laws from his official residence in Delhi. Today's next news is, Google has unveiled an AI model capable of forecasting floods a week before they occur. As detailed in a Nature Journal publication, the model merges two AI components, 
analyzing publicly available data to predict water flow in rivers and forecast affected areas in water levels, with floods causing significant financial losses, estimated at over $50 billion annually. Such advancements are critical, especially amid escalating flood occurrences due to climate change. Today's next news is, Chinese Foreign Minister Wang Yi's landmark visit to New Zealand and Australia marks a pivotal step in reinvigorating trade and economic relations. Wang's outreach aims to mend ties strained by political tensions, particularly with Australia due to differences over China's assertiveness in trade restrictions. The visit coincides with U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken's engagements in the Philippines, highlighting complex geopolitical dynamics in the Indo-Pacific amidst escalating U.S.-China tensions. Thank you for joining us on this incredible journey today. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for more content, and ring the notification bell to stay updated. Your support means the world to us. Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments below. And until next time, stay curious and keep exploring. See you in the next video.